My friend and I went to the beach with my floating fish. It got a hole, the air came out. Hello friends, welcome to today's video lesson. Today's topic is location words. Location words are words that tell us where things are, where we can find things. Like looking at this clip, where is the sailboat? The sailboat is inside the sea. Inside is the location word. Where is the umbrella? The umbrella is beside the chair. Beside is a location word. Where are the birds? The birds are flying above the sea. See? Above is the location word because it's telling us where we will find the birds. And how about the clouds? The clouds are above they are high up in the sky so above inside beside below next to the are location words so let's go right into the lesson and see examples of location words ready ready What picture shows the child is inside? This picture by your left. Good. You can see the child wearing a pink dress. She is inside the pram. But in the other picture, the child is pushing the pram. Okay, so the picture on your left shows that the child is inside. What picture shows the children are outside? This picture, you can see in the other picture, the children are actually inside the classroom. They are not outside. But in this other picture, the children are outside. They are standing in front of the school. Good job. What picture shows the cat is below? I can see two pictures with two chairs and two cats. On one picture, the cat is lying on the chair. On the other picture, the cat is lying under the chair. So what picture shows the cat is below? Yeah, this picture Below is another way of saying under, okay? So in this picture, the cat is lying below the chair, or the cat is under the chair. What picture shows the fan is above? Above is another way of saying high up. So what picture shows the fan is above? High up, up, up there. This picture. Good job. Besides, friends, we are going to learn a new location word beside. Can you say beside? Okay, so I'll use a story to explain beside. I have a lovely friend here. Her name is Aisha. Aisha has a big head and she loves to wear a wild and Aisha loves people and has lots and lots of friends. And right now there is a friend standing beside her. Would you like to know her friend's name? Okay, I will tell you. Her friend is Abdul. See, Abdul has a wild and lovely smile just like Aisha. But Aisha has more friends aside Abdul. There's another friend standing beside Abdul. And that person is Farida. See? Farida is wearing a yellow dress. And she's smiling big time. And there is one more friend 
standing right beside Farida, who is also a friend to Aisha. And the person is Sayyid. So you see, these are all Aisha's friends, Abdul, Farida and Sayyid. And they are all standing beside each other. So can you say the word beside? Good job. Next to. Next to is another way of saying beside. I will also use the story to explain this location word. Now here is love. Love is a beautiful girl and she loves to play so much. And she also has lots and lots of friends that play with her. For instance, Sam is one of love's friends. And he's standing next to love. But there is someone else standing next to Sam. And the person is wearing a blue dress. And that person is Pam. She has a golden hair. She's wearing a blue dress. And she's standing next to Sam. There is someone else standing next to Pam. And the person is wearing a red shirt. Who is that? Fred. Fred is a friend to Pam, Sam and Love. And he also loves to play just like his friend. But there is someone else standing next to Fred. Do you know who the person is? John. John is wearing a blue Okay, so next to is another way of saying beside, close, near, okay? And these friends are standing next to each other. Activity time. What is below the chair? Who is next to the boy on a yellow shirt? Which picture shows outside? Friends, I trust you had a nice time. Please do your activities on your worksheet and bye-bye.